Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a CAPTCHA to Elementor in 2024. So today we're going to explore how to add a CAPTCHA, which is completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and the humans apart. This is of course the full form of CAPTCHA to your Elementor form, enhancing the security and reliability of your websites. So stick around as I guide you through the steps for, to integrate CAPTCHA with Elementor in 2024. So let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to this url section type word not warp of course wordpress.com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen let me just open my local host in the meanwhile and of course if it's your first time you will find yourself on a page like this so make sure to go here to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account if you have an account and if you don't click on get started and set to create an account here or even here on the middle whatever suits you of course if you want to click on login as you can see you'll be able to log in with google apple uh, with the login link or vn app if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into your account for getting started as, as you can see it will be the same if you don't know nothing about wordpress you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and you'll be able to have general idea about us and even see the pricing monthly and yearly whatever you want to pay with and even the feature so post the video and read it all by your own and you'll be able to find a lot of other information so here once you're logged into your account you'll have to go and install and activate the elementor forms add-on to do so you'll have to go to plugins and as you can see if you are on the free plan you'll not be able to add any plugin until you go and get a better plan which is you'll have to pay nine dollars monthly so here i have like a local host so i can install my plugins as an example so what I'll need to do, simply go to this list panel, go to plugins, click on add the new plugin to install and activate the Elementor forms and on. So we will need to install that. Elementor, of course, Pro comes with a built-in forms widget that supports CAPTCHA. And if you haven't already purchased and install Elementor Pro, then make sure that you have the forms add-on activated. Of course, if you go here to plugins, go and search plugins, go and type Elementor. So here, as you can see, you'll find Elementor Website Builder more than just a page builder. Make sure to download it and or install it, then activate it. For me, it's already installed and activated. And of course, I can just go to install the plugins in here and look for Elementor. And okay, Elementor should be like that. And as you can see, you make sure to go and click on Get Elementor Pro. So I'll just go here to settings also. And as you can see, if you get a better plan, just as you can see, the essential advanced experts agency, it will come with some features. These features will include the form builder, and the form builder will include the captcha also. As example, now what you will need to do if you go to pages, let me just go and open that in a new page. If you go now to pages and click on add a new page and of course on the new page i'll just go here and click on edit with elementor so you can access elementor we would like to add the captcha and our form maybe as an example our page so if we go here as an example and type captcha and let's see if we're gonna have something as you can see there is nothing in there so what you should do if you don't want to pay as an example you just want to have it for free so with elementor alone you will not be able to you'll have to go and get it but there are some uh, plugins like as an example if we go here of course this is just for elementor like you can access settings and change whatever you want or like integration advanced features you can change or activate or deactivate whatever feature you want as you can see and save the changes for me of course i was going to show you like another plugin so i have it installed for me which is wp form plugin that will let you add some captchas to your elementor or whatever or even wordpress if you want so let me just look for it wp forms yeah it's this one so as an example i'll just go and click on view details 
So this is the plugin. Make sure to go and download it, which is WP Forms. Just type WP Forms and you will find this right away. In this description, installation, frequently asked questions, change logo, they changed recently, screenshots on how it's looked like, how it's gonna look like. So they have forms and even the reviews. So what we'll need to do once we install it and activate it, we'll have, of course, you can even get the pro also of that if you want to so if you click on upgrade now they have some features but you can here go as example to settings of that and on the settings you can simply go here and click on captcha once you click on captcha as an example you have some captchas that you can use there is a recaptcha there is the turn style and there is the h captcha which is the human captcha so if you're not sure which service is right for you, you can check out our comparison for more details. And a captcha, of course, is an anti-spam technique which helps to protect your websites from spam and abuse while letting real people pass through with ease. So if you want to use HCAPTCHA or ReCAPTCHA or even turn style, you will need the site key and the secrets key. And of course, the fail message for turn uh, silence example for this one will require uh, the fail message also. And this one, it seems like it has it also. So as an example, let's say we're going to choose this. Uh, let's say we're going to choose the V4 or V2. So you'll have to simply go and get your seat key, site key and the secret key. And make sure to even enable this if you want to. This is what we'll do. It will forcefully remove other CAPTCHA uh, OK occurrences in order to prevent conflicts only enable this option if your site is having compatibility issues or instructed by support and please save settings to generate a preview of your captcha here and of course if the fail message you can change it to whatever you want and as you can see like here the fail message that's per default which is google recaptcha verification failed please try again later so once you enter your site key and security key click on save settings and now you'll be able to use it. If we go here to Elementor, you'll find even on the basic, here you'll find this WP Forms plugin. If you enter it in and select the form that you want, which is simple contact form, the only form that I have, you will find a CAPTCHA once you go and click on preview your site. So if you click on preview your site, you'll be able to find the CAPTCHA through your form. For me, I did not find this. Why? Because I did not even save changes and I did not even hit or get, it gets the site key or secret key. For you, just get it, click on save changes and you will see a preview of it. Then you will be able to use it with the form of, it, of them right away. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoy this video. Of course, if you have any question or that is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and goodbye.